did too. And, I was worried uh, about you. It, uh, uh, but it, it's it's been it's kind of bizarre. I answered the most negative of criticisms on our email and web. If they signed their name, I answered them directly. I oh, either called wow. or sent them an email yeah. and said, uh -huh. you know, I'm sorry that you felt this way. Right. That you know, right. in the future, if in the event that we knew this was going to happen, we exactly. would have done it. This wasn't, but they they were kind of attacking. You know, they said, uh, well, we know it's a secret process for who selects talent, and you know, I mean, they were getting the foundation <laughs> the board confused. Yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, department. oh, we're gonna, <laughs> how are we gonna screw this line over this? Uh, and 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 so I informed them a little bit about right. no, this is the reason that it seems secretive is that we don't publish. Uh, publicly the amount that we pay individual acts or performers because that goes through our foundation board. Oh, and, I see. And mm -hmm. so everything else we do mm -hmm. is a public, mm -hmm. uh, public record. Funds. But uh, the private funds come through yes. the foundation. You don't have to report so, those. That's you right. do not. That's right. So, well, so, that's and it, and it, 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 But it, I think for someone in your new position, and I know how busy you are, to have even personally answered those people. How many yeah. people did you end up having that left names and you answered? Was that quite a number? Oh, not not a huge amount. I talked to some personally. I sure. signed them uh, in town, and I, one was in our city government, and I mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. talked to a couple of offices that I'd mm -hmm. heard, and then I sent uh, responses back to two. Um, uh, I posted something on one mm -hmm. little public site or uh, Facebook response to a negative thing, and then uh, I had a series of exchanges with a group of about 15 that one guy yes. got started, oh. and then the other one oh. chimed in, and another one, and it was starting to gain momentum, and okay. I just thought, I'm not going to let him create a fire where it doesn't exist, and so I just, uh, I was included in the email group, I hit okay. reply all, okay. and I said, here's what happened. Right. And here's what we're going to do in the future, and I, you know, apologize if you were offended. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. wasn't our intent, and right. it just. And then I and got a stopped. very nice, yeah, I got a very nice email yeah. back Good from management. the initiator, and and uh, just took care of it. So, Good for you. Uh, That's uh, why we like having you in this okay. position. We don't want these okay. firestorms in our town when it's yeah, all about yeah, art. Yeah, I mean, it's okay to have a little controversy. Exactly. With people. I mean, if everybody likes what everything we do, it's yeah. going to be pretty damn boring. Well, let's get back started okay. here. I'll start my timer. We're going to go for seven minutes. Okay. okay. We're back with the Joan Yerkovich Show and with our guest, Brad Anderson. And we preempted before we went on break that Brad was going to talk to us about how he feels the arts in Salina are as important as the Salina Police Department. Go for it, Brad. I can't <laughs> wait to hear this. <laughs> Well, you know, when I uh, interviewed for this job, uh, it, 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 uh, part of the close of the interview, uh, I talked to uh, uh, Jason Gage a little bit about what he expected from the next director, and I was very encouraged by uh, what he said as the um, uh, chief executive officer of the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I said, well, you've been very honest with me, and I think it's important uh, that I'm honest with you. I said, if I accept this position, it's not, uh, I'm not taking it lightly. I'm leaving a position of 14 years. I have tenure. I have respect of colleagues and, and am relatively secure. Um, and, and so if I come here, I want you to know that I will take my job uh, as a leader of that agency every bit as important as the chief of police, as the director of public utilities, as the street department. And I would want to be treated and have our office and department treated just uh, the same. And, uh, you should be on an equal level with the street sweepers. I agree. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we help give them business. Yes, that's you it. do. <laughs> that's right. Um, and my my reason for that is is that uh, I think that there are a number of essential services. We have a we have a right to be protected as a nation and amass an army. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and even the army finds it important enough that uh, uh, you know, 1990 the uh, the United States Armed Services spent as much on military bands, bands on for the bands. military. I know, I love as, those military okay, bands. They spent as much on military bands as the entire national budget for the National Endowment for the Arts. Oh, that, now, that's an interesting fact. That it, it, it right. kind of puts things uh -huh. in perspective. It does. And, and it so really it, does. If to our armed forces, right. uh, music is important enough that they will spend $90 million in 1990 exactly. uh, on that. 
uh, then actually it was uh, 180 million dollars uh, uh -huh. before they cut the the NAA what what down. year was that do you in remember? 1990 or 91 wow it was about the same time that the controversy arose over Robert Maplethorpe's photographs and Jesse Helms and others mm -hmm. went after mm -hmm. the uh, uh, National Endowment for mm -hmm. the Arts and so Anytime there's a, con a, a, a lean towards a conservative politic, there tends to be an attack on the arts, and I think uh, the arts are worth defending. You know, we have a, a, a Sharon Benson in our office has a mm -hmm. thank you note from a, a young child who benefited from an artist in the schools program this year, and the response was, uh, thank you uh, for letting me know there's other people like me. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's touching. It's amazing, and and I think that right. we forget to honor uh, the know, individual who has that artistic, creative bent. There, are, there are people mm -hmm. who love uh, right? hunting. There's mm -hmm. people who love libraries. Mm -hmm. There's people who love sports. Uh, there, there are people who love to do a lot of things mm -hmm. that have. Uh, adequate uh, and representative support at a variety of levels. We're talking about having a healthy uh, physical body in a, in a mm -hmm. country that is growing uh, more uh, obese each year right. uh, per capita. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I think that we have to honor and protect uh, what part of what makes us human. Right. Uh, you know, the, the uh, and, and it, it wasn't uh, to pick on the police department necessarily. Oh, but, not at all. Not but the way you said it even. For, um, uh, th there was an interesting piece I just read uh, from a, a book by uh, Steven Pinker, where in all of the history of humanity, for as long as we've been able to record and, and, and study mm -hmm. the demographics, the anthropology of human beings, right. how long they live and, and the harm that they do to one another, for the, since the 1850s to present, that includes the Civil War, mm -hmm. two World Wars, the Gulf War, the, you know, the most recent uh, uh, war, the current wars that are going on, terrorism, everything. We are at our lowest time in all of human history of doing harm to each other. Right now? Right now. That is very hard for me to believe. I know it is. Okay. But per capita, right. our, our, per capita. our population has grown. Uh -huh. We've learned more about That's each true. other. Healthcare is improved. Well, we're a worldwide right. you know, community with the web. Correct. And, and the more that we They're know about what's happening in Zaire, attack. that's right, mm -hmm. all across Africa, the more we know about that. And, and that includes the Rwanda mm -hmm. genocide and others, right, and right. the Holocaust. And, but wow. Per capita, we're hurting each other less than we ever have before. We just don't know it. And, and you attribute that to what? Well, I think Are that, you bringing this back to the arts somehow? I think that the arts are one way that we get to know each other better and to learn to have a civil dialogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a way of expressing who we are, not just on the outside, but on our inside, in our hearts and our minds, and, and to express ourselves through music, through theater, through dance, and through the visual arts and, mm -hmm. and, and those other forms, that helps make us human and right. not just right. a machine. That's the inside of who we are. I mean, if I think of art in any form, I think of my internal feelings and my emotion. For example, when I enjoy a performance, I have a, an emotional reaction. When I want to buy a piece of art, it's because I've had an emotional response Absolutely. to that the artist artistry of that piece or whatever it might be and it's a conversation and we have to honor that absolutely we have to honor that in each other and and uh, in the artists that create these things for us and in all of that so well brad this has certainly been an interesting interview and i'd love to have you back and thank you so much for what you do for our community with your new position there uh, just what you've shared with me today uh, i'm very proud to have you working in that position and also congratulations i know you have the community behind you because you got that uh, ovation at the uh, donor's breakfast oh. or the art patron's <laughs> breakfast, yeah. which I could tell you were a little taken aback as you were like, I wasn't expecting that. And of course, yeah. those people are some of the biggest art supporters in the community, but also gives you a lot to say that, you know, that they really appreciate you. So thank I'm you for coming. Happy to be here and happy to serve and looking forward to what's uh, around the corner. Good, good. So anyway, this has been the Joan Yurkovich Show. Thanks for joining, joining us 9 a.m. on Saturdays at 910 KINA. Also, go to joanyurkovich.com for podcasts and an actual video of Brad's interview. He's a kind of nice-looking guy, so you'll want to see that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Good talk. They're always too short. But then again, it goes fast. It? It does still on fast. video. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, we're still on video. Thanks for that. No cursing. Hello. <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's like Aaron. <laughs> yeah. How did you get him to not uh, talk?
He might have on the video part, but not the radio part. <laughs> yeah, I can't guarantee it. I've kind of rewatched some of it, but we've had some good things and some funny. He said uh, after hearing about what happened with George that he was going to try to promote having uh, a, 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 anybody that wanted to help with oral sex during performance, but uh, <laughs> that he would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that he was going to use that on his fans. <laughs> I said, why don't you say so that for a commission meeting? He was going to incorporate some of those ideas into his Yeah, band. yeah, he said, that's a great idea. He yeah, said, if, right. I, if I would have known that the backup singers were willing to, you know, come down and do that for you. Then, uh, he's going to get him some backup singers. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, before he hires them, he's going to have that yeah. in their job description. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> he talked about being a musician in town and, and the band, and he had some you know, really funny things to say, you know, talking about the women who come out with their hair all plumed up like the peacock ready to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been around a long time doing that music scene. Yes, that is. is totally a different scene. Oh, it's a whole different, it's right. a whole different right. group. I mean, dancers right. have a set, unique set of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, idiosyncrasies mm -hmm. and artists and mm -hmm. theater people. It, mm -hmm. uh, each one is unique in their own uh, right in terms of how you communicate and what their needs are. You uh, bet. Yeah. Well, thanks, Brad. We'll let You're you welcome. get back yeah. to work.